Chris the Bergeron zone. Don't forget the popcorn, Frank. Coming, dear. And by the way, I'm just checking. So I'm assuming, I, I keep looking beyond that camera because there's a clock back there. It's 9.05. Again, people are okay until 9.15. So we're going to do these other two examples and we'll make sure we wrap up at 9.15. Okay, well, Linda. Two, case two, um, this female uh, was at home um, living alone, uh, mild dementia, pneumonia. Um, the pneumonia was getting worse, daughter realized it, went in, was visiting daily. She had some home care services that were coming in. But because pneumonia was getting worse, the doctor was following her, she ended up in the hospital. When she went into the hospital, um, she was actually had been in bed a week before she went to the hospital. Well, we know how quickly muscles decline with the elderly. and. Um, it also made her dementia worse because of the infection and her thought, I should say her thought process worse, not necessarily her dementia. And um, she was now going to be treated with IV antibiotics. So we'll talk pre-GMO. She was on IV antibiotics. Physical therapy was brought in, picked her up on caseload to try to get leg strengthening, gait training, all of those things back in. She was also requiring nebulizers to clear the lungs and get her moving. Um, chest PT was also started, which is the percussions of the back to move some of the secretions, but they had to be very careful. She's a senior and 80-year-old, uh, so it was done very gently and they were doing more frequent than keeping a long period of time doing. Uh, so it was divided up. She's now getting four times a day rather than twice a day. So now it's getting to the time um, where she would be discharged. She would have gone home with skilled services and uh, the VNA again would be in. They would continue with the nebulizers, teaching and training, who, whether it be the daughter that would be coming over to do these and the antibiotics were now discontinued, but she needs to have lung sounds done while she's still getting the nebulizers and you want to make sure that indeed she's walking. She had, she was dehydrated, she's now hydrated. Someone needs to be watching this nutrition and how much she's taking in on hydration. So she would have stayed on services for a little while, uh, I'd say maybe a month, you know, post uh, pre-GMO. Now on GMO, again, you've got the complexity and uh, how complicated her case is. In this case, you would be able to train um, an unskilled worker to help with the nebulizer treatments and the oxygen. But you still need the skilled nurse going in to do lung sounds, make sure she's not declining, and ma ma make sure she's maintaining. And I think as the geriatric care manager, I'm saying you need to partner with the VNA so that they understand you're not checking up on them, but both of you are trying to make sure this documentation goes. You want to get the best for your client, and they want to see the client get their best. So again, the documentation is going to be key. As far as the dementia goes, we all know that dementia at any time can start to, to get worse. So I think the biggest thing there is, again, seeing if we can get her back to where she was baseline and also trying to slow any decline. So it's very important to make sure medications, if she's still not able to do them, we all know there's many different things we can do as well as go in and you put a med machine in, that's a reminder. We may be there making sure she is taking the proper medication. Her daughter has been trained, but the daughter may not be quite sure what she's doing. So again, it's the complexity and the uniqueness of each person. And I think, oh, and I just wanted to add, if this, if this case had gone to a nursing home because she was in the hospital, she was on, she had her three nights, she was on IV antibiotics and gone to a nursing home, again, she could stay longer in the nursing home under the new regulations with GMO because it would be to really monitor and, maintain, and watch 
and supervise that she return to her previous baseline. It wouldn't be now she's finished with PT, she's reached her new, she's reached her goals and she's ready to go. The nurse could continue to monitor lung sounds for maybe another two weeks if there was a good clinical reason to monitor her lungs and to observe her that she didn't have a relapse because the other way she could have gone home too quickly and ended up back in the hospital again. And again, in skilled care, she went to the long-term care setting and stayed there for a while. The physician is responsible to write every, every week that she needs skilled services. So again, that education is going to follow right through, that they really need to be educated on this. And, and unfortunately, it, right now, that, that hasn't happened yet. It's in the process, but we all now know how important that documentation is. And lastly, the no improvement standard is, is not a reason to deny anyone. If someone is not making progress, that no improvement standard that we saw before, you had to plateau, you had to meet your goals, and therefore you were denied Medicare, does not mean you have, under the, under the new standards, you can still not be meeting your goals, but could have the skilled services just the nurse supervising the complexity and the medical needs of the client. And again, that's the important piece, making sure that you've explained in detail why it's important to keep them on Medicare. And, yes. And make sure that you have that doc documented, ma'am. So she's got, you say here she's got mild dementia. Mm-hmm. So that's only going to progress. Yes. So, mm -hmm. and you're, but we can't, if she can't continue to do the nebulizer because you're able to skill an unskilled yeah. person, but you need to go in periodically to make sure it's working, to prevent a relapse, to prevent it, you know, her not getting the effects from the nebulizer. So and that would the be thing you're mm -hmm. not the fact that the reason she may not be able to stay stable mm -hmm. is because of the, the <coughs> Well, the decline in cognition would be in any case with, with dementia, but um, she could still get treatment. She may be able to not fill the nebulizer with the medicine, but she may be able to hold it. Okay. So you're going to get her to maintain that okay. and, and hopefully keep, prevent a relapse. Okay. okay? Yeah.